on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. Come on. Come on. No. Pause. That was Jeff. Jeff doesn't take good care of his whisper light. And because of that, he's going to get eaten. I'm going to show you how to take proper care of your whisper light so that you never have the same problems as Jeff. Don't be a Jeff. What's up guys? I'm Nico. I'm a five-time All-American stove boy and I'm here to show you how to not be a Jeff and how to make sure that your whisper light is always running properly. You might be asking yourself, what's a whisper light? This is a whisper light. A whisper light is a stove that we use in the backcountry industry, so if you ever find yourself in the backcountry setting, probably using a whisper light. So, Jeff obviously had a problem with his whisper light. I'm gonna show you how to diagnose the problem and how to fix it. Jeff's whisper light wasn't starting, which means one of two things. Either he had carbon buildup in his fuel line, or he was missing a part. So we're going to be safe, and we're going to check for both problems. Now, a whisper light is really easy to take apart, and there are only about 75,000 parts to a whisper light. Just kidding, there are only like 10. Anyways, the first part of taking apart a whisper light is to take off the spirit well. So now that we've gotten the spirit well out and we've gotten out the fuel line, we can check to see if Jeff was missing any parts when he couldn't start his stove. So you should always carry around a stove repair kit in case something like this happens. And trust me, your whisper light stove will break all the time, all the time. So what you should have in your, fuel, in your repair kit is a wrench to help you take apart things that aren't supposed to be stuck together. Some pump oil, so you can oil your pump if it gets greasy. An extra jet head. And an extra jet, in case either of those get broken. So we're going to see what the problem with Jeff's stoves might be. So, we're going to unscrew this nozzle. And now there should be a jet inside the nozzle, but you can see that on this stove, the jet's gone. So Jeff was missing a jet in his stove. So if we were to take our extra jet that we have in our repair kit and put it into the nozzle, we can then screw that back on. Now, his jet is back in his stove, and now fuel will be able to be fed into the burner of his stove. Cool. Now that we've got that stove back together, I'm going to show you the solution to another common problem with the whisper light not starting, and that's carbon buildup in your fuel line. And so, checking for carbon buildup in your fuel line is really simple. All you're going to need is your stove, a pair of pliers, and a little bit of paper towel. So all you're gonna do is take your pliers and grab the actual fuel line out of the fuel line tube. And it's gonna come out nice and easy, <clears throat> and you'll be left with this. Put the stove to the side, take some paper towel, and just clean off any buildup that might exist on the fuel line itself. And this is gonna allow fuel to flow more freely from your fuel bottle into the stove. So once you've gotten that all cleaned up, you can go ahead and just shove the fuel line back into your fuel line case. And for the last little bit, you can use your pliers to shove it back in. So if you've done all that, You've checked for all of the missing parts in your whisper light, you've made sure all the parts are there, and you've taken out the fuel line and you've cleaned it out, you'll be good to go for your next adventure.